Hey everybody, this is Rocky. I'm here with my friends from FaveDiets.com and today we're going to be making some cauliflower au gratin. Now we've made quite a few dishes now where we've substituted out potatoes and instead used cauliflower and we've come up with some delicious successes. So I'm thinking with the holidays coming up, potatoes au gratin might be a dish that quite a few of us might be putting on our holiday table. And it's also just a good dish to have in general for a family get together. It's, it's cheesy, it's wholesome, it's comforting. So I figured, why not give it a shot using cauliflower? So with all that said and done, let's get started. I'm gonna start out by sauteing some onions. And I'm gonna let these cook until they're nice and soft and translucent. And that's just going to really bring out the sweetness of the onion and reduce the bitterness. Right now I'm just prepping my cauliflower. I have some fresh cauliflower. And I just want to cut them down so that they're all the same size so they cook evenly. My onions are just about ready. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle them with a little bit of sea salt. Now I'm going to set these aside and start on my cheese sauce. I started off by adding some light butter to a saucepan and now I'm going to go ahead and add in some quinoa flour and I'm going to make my roux which is going to be the thickening agent for my cheese sauce. Now that my uh, butter and my quinoa flour have come together, I'm going to add in uh, a couple of cups of almond milk. I'm going to keep stirring this until my uh, milk is thickened. My milk is definitely thickening up. I'm going to go ahead and add in a little bit of sweet paprika. Some black pepper. And then a little bit of sea salt. Now it's time to add my cheese. I'm using light shredded cheese right here. This is looking so incredibly good. I think it's time to assemble our au gratin. I have a casserole dish here that I'm going to go ahead and start putting in a layer of cauliflower. And I sprayed down the casserole dish uh, very liberally with olive oil spray. I'm going to put down a little bit of the sautéed onions. And then some of that beautiful cheese sauce that we just made.
And I'm gonna keep layering until I'm done with my cauliflower. All done with my layering, I'm just gonna make sure that my cheese sauce is pretty well distributed across the top. I'm also going to add just a little bit more of the sweet paprika across the top. I'm going to cover it and put it in my oven to bake until it's done. I think we have another cauliflower success in our hands. Mm. It's cheesy, it's saucy, it has like almost the same texture as a potato. Mm. I love that creaminess. And then just that little bit of the sweet paprika comes out, the smokiness, so good. Mm-hmm. A definite success. So there you go. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and post them below. The nutritional facts, pictures, and the full recipe will be on my blog spot, which I'll post the link to below. And until next time, enjoy. Bye!